the news updates. Wiki reviews how it tried to make Tinubu to dump APC. Welcome to today's news and thank you for tuning in to the news. But please do well to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and also the bell for more updates. Now to the news details. Please listen to the end. River State Governor Yeson Wiki has explained how he attempted to pouch the president-elect Bola Ahmed Tinumbu to dump the All Progressives Congress for the People's Democratic Party in 2018. He said he met the former Lagos State Governor in 2018 at his Bordelian home in Lagos around 2 a.m. in his bid to convince Tinumbu to join the main opposition party. Wiki reviewed this during a state banquet in honor of the president elect on Wednesday in Port Harcourt. The governor, however, said Tinumbu turned down his offer after Wiki listed possible presidential candidates in PDP. Wiki said, I met him first in 2018, around 2 a.m. in his house. I was sent to go and talk to him, how he can join us. I went to him. I said, sir, I hear you can't find your feet again in APC. Why not join us and let's support one of these, our candidates, to win the 2019 election? He asked me, who had this your candidates? I mentioned them. He said, look, if this ones you, if it is this ones you have, I will support Muhammadu Buhari 200 times. He told me that and I respected him. On his support for Tinumbu during the 2023 presidential election, the governor said, we did not do anti-party. We supported the unity of Nigeria, which is more important than any political party. Those who did anti-party are those who violated the provision of the constitution of their political party. They did anti-party. Wiki said since they insisted that they must obey the constitution of our party. We cannot be held for anti-party. On the presidential election petitions challenging Tinumbu's victory, the governor said, it's only in Nigeria where I see if the opposition wins an election. That election was done well. It's only in Nigeria I have seen that. If as a governor now, I contested Senate and I lose that election, they will say that election is free and fair. Why? Because the governor lost. But if I won, the governor has done everything. We saw governors who lost the election. Bolatinumbu lost Lagos the presidential election. In Lost Lagos, is it not correct? That election was free and fair in Lagos. Was it not free and fair in Lagos? Why? Because Bola Tinubu lost in Lagos. That is the kind of thing we do. If I lost election in River States, they will say, but we said it, his own time is over. How do you think Wiki would have won? Now I won. Don't worry, they just manipulated. Look at states where governors lost elections. Nobody is talking about it. That election was free and fair. Senators lost elections. That election was free and fair. As far as I'm concerned, I have no regrets. I will continue to say, and I have told the president-elect, 
the elections have come and gone. You have finished that battle. The battle you have now is governance. What Nigerians want is good governance. If we want good governance, then we must rally round the president elects. The president elects went to Patakot to commission a flyover bridge in in, in River State. It was invited by Governor Yeson Wiki. And the president elect acknowledged and respected Wiki, called him a good man. But in a in the banquet, Wiki said that he had went to meet the president-elect in 2018, telling him to dump APC, that APC people cannot support him since he has lost his feet. The president-elect wanted to contest in 2019, but he stepped down for the uh, president, Momo Dubrawi. But Tinubu gave him a response, and which made him respect Tinubu the more. And... Wilson Wiki said the reason why he supported Tinubu is just for unity to reign in the country, not anti-party, believing that the presidency is to be zoned to the south. And him as a PDP member, the presidential candidate is from the north. So he wants the unity and he wants Tinubu to emerge as the winner. He gave instances that if a sitting governor lost election. Nigerians will claim that the election was free and fair. But if the sitting governor wins the election, then issues will come up. After the presidential election of that took place in February, different controversies, petitions has been written concerning Tinumbu, meaning that Tinu, the election was not free and fair. And that even Tinumbu himself lost in Lagos State during the presidential election. People are not saying anything about that because they believe that the election was free and fair. We have come to the end of the news. What's your take on this? Please share your comments in the comments section. Thank you.